deals, this is, from a priority point of view, some things to look at. Management, of course, is very important. You, may, you probably have heard the, I would rather invest in an A team with a B idea than a B team with an A idea. Now, even given that, though, there's other things you need to look at. The financial considerations, the economics of the deal, uh, the market. Is the market growing? Is the market shrinking? Is you know, the market uh, opportunity is not very big in general? Um, are there some technical park issues? You need to look at all these different areas and basically identify the risks. So what are the key risks for this company as compared to every other company that you're looking at during the competition? Is it a technology risk? Is it a market risk? You know, what is it about this company that really concerns you the most? Great question as an entrepreneur. You know, what keeps them up at night? What are their biggest ideas about what the risks are from their perspective? Now, they probably won't say the thing that's really, really, really keeping them up at night, but it's certainly interesting to know their perspective, isn't it? Now, once you understand the key risks, uh, you want to mitigate those risks as much as possible during this competition. Now, one way to do that is to tranche the money. And what that means is that you identify uh, working with the entrepreneur, asking them, you know, what key milestones do you see coming up the next six months, a year, uh, that can actually affect the potential for this company. Well, if it's a matter of getting the first customer or it's getting, you know, that, you know, hundredth customer or whatever it is, um, let's tie some money to that. Let's say, you know, after you get to that, you know, first customer or maybe the hundredth customer or maybe they do a market study, let's tie some money with that. And that's what a tranche is, is basically saying, I'll give you some money up front and I'll give you some more money later on once you hit this key milestone. That by itself is used a lot in VCIC because the deals that you're given, you're not given a lot of time to figure out all the big picture things going on. So let's say we just structure the deal around the idea of mitigating that biggest risk that we can see right now. And we believe in the, in the upside, we want to minimize our downside risk, and this is how we're going to do it. So uh, key hires can be another good question to ask during the due diligence session because that also goes into if there's someone missing from the management team, let's make sure that we get that person in as part of the round of financing as usually part of a closing condition. Uh, just getting on the tranches, you might have you know, 500000 up front. You may maybe do a million-dollar tranche on the fire, first milestone, uh, maybe a $500,000 tranche later on. Well, overall, you're putting $2 million into the company as part of this agreement to do Series A, but you're, you're spacing that investment out over a period of time. And there's lots of reasons why you might do that, but every deal is going to look differently um, during the day of competition, of course. So general risk mitigation, you want to look at these as, as a, a kind of a general scale, too. Uh, can you get soft referrals to the company? Are they using a legal uh, law firm that's kind of one of the best in the country or something like that, or at least is at least well known in the area? Uh, are they startup lawyer, not just a general lawyer that's been used because they know someone, they're giving a great deal on the rate. Um, now, are they, how are they managing cash flow right now? Have, you know, have they burned through a lot of friends and family money, and now they're definitely looking for money? That's interesting to kind of understand about um, how they're going to use your money. And on that same note, you know, use of funds is a fairly good question to ask during due diligence as well. You know, what are you going to do with the money? If it's not completely clear from the business plan how they're going to use that money, you need to ask. If it is pretty clear from the business plan and you just ask them, has anything changed about use of funds since the business plan? It's a simple yes or no question. Never a bad thing to do. Um, and, of course, also um, the conditions of closing I mentioned before, maybe there's a key hire that they need to bring in to actually help on the risk side because that key hire would be someone that actually has raised capital before and understands how to be as efficient as possible with the capital. Um, what eventually